Hey friends, welcome to the part 16. We are looking at real certification questions on AWS Certified Data Analytics. If you want respect in life, this is a certification you should aim at if you are from cloud practice or not from a cloud practice. If you have this certification, people will respect you. Your CV will have a hell lot of weightage. This exam costs $300. It is a 180 minute exam. That is approximately three hour exam. And there are 65 questions. Now, as I suggest, you do not worry about these five years of experience, two years of hands on need not required. You just have to be intelligent and creative. Intelligent, not required. If you have common sense, you can clear all the certifications. So friends, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. This playlist has so many videos on data analytics, plus there are so many other playlists which will guide you with cloud certification. Let us jump into the questions. See, you have a system and that system helps you identify who is selling well in a country. Where is the sales data kept? It is stored in S3 in Parquet format. We all know that S3 is a cloud storage, object storage on AWS and Parquet format is a compressed data file. It is storing data in columnar format. So data is columnar stored columnarly plus it is stored in the compressed file. So uh, in in memory, in caching kind of processing is really fast, fast, fast. Now on this data set, you want to provide visualization. That is a pain point. First of all, understand what is it that you want to crack? You want to give a visualization solution. All four visualization solution, you know, QuickSight. QuickSight is a AWS business intelligence tool. Using this, you can create dashboards, analytics, and so on. Similar to this, what are the other tools in the market? Similar to this, there is Tableau, there is ClickSense, there is Cognos, there is JasperSoft, there is Power BI, so many other stuff. Now, the first option is saying, boss, we will use QuickSight. We will also use Athena as a data source, and we will use heat maps as visual type. When you, you are using S3 as a data source, you have to plug Athena in between. He's a broker. He's the middleman. Athena is the middleman. That will allow you to talk to S3 storage. That is fine. And let us look at heat maps. We use heat map to show a measure with intersection of two dimensions. What is the measure in our question? It is the sales data, top sales. So we have measure and intersection of two dimensions. Do we have two dimensions? Do we have two dimensions? Yes, we have. Which are the dimensions? We have country that is one dimension we have sub organization that is the another dimension hey fantastic this looks correct but let us look at other options b is totally wrong because you cannot quicksight cannot talk to s3 directly you have to use athena in between now d does make use of athena but the problem is they are saying hey can we we can do it through pivot tables the visualization type just like heat map they are telling boss use pivot tables now here you see pivot table also the table will show measure values for intersection of two dimensions. So it is the same thing, but it is also giving you something here like heat maps and pivot tables, both display data in tabular fashion. But heat map you use if you want to identify trends and outliers because the use of color makes it easier to spot. Use pivot table if you want to analyze data on the visual. See, first thing, remember, if it is senior leadership, senior leadership, senior leadership, okay, those guys are the brainless guys. That means they they only want to understand quickly. Somebody has to feed the information like a baby, man, like a baby. Why? Because they want to make some other decisions which are critical for the organization. They cannot sit with you, a low-level technical guy, and understand, hey, you know, how great you are with firing your queries. He does not want to understand how great you are because that is what the technical people will do to try to show him how great they are. He just wants to get the data insight. That's all. If that is the case, then simple thing, heat map will suffice. Okay, give the leadership everything on the plate. Heat map will suffice. If you give pivot tables, then he will have to make some more effort. We want to use least amount of effort. So visual type pivot table will have slightly more effort than heat maps. Now D is totally wrong because they are telling quick sight has to connect to S3 directly. So this is wrong. So this would be my final answer. Final answer. Now let us jump to the next question. See, there is a real-time system. Each There are so many sensors. Each sensor is the data in JSON format through Kinesis data streams. Using the KPL in Java, statistics from the failed sensor shows that sensor is malfunctioning. It, it's recorded is not always sent to the cloud. Okay, the company needs a solution to offer near real-time analytics on the data from the most updated sensors. So basically, some sensors are becoming bad. Some sensors are good. Some sensors are bad. Some sensors failed. You want to know which sensors failed immediately. The company needs a near real-time solution. What to do? 
So basically you are trying to do analytics on the data. Some sensor will send data, some sensor will not send data because they failed. Whatever data you have, you have to do analytics. Whatever data you have, you have to do analytics on top of it. How to do it? So the answer should be B. Why? Because you will update the sensor code to put records into data streams. Why data streams? Because you already have a data stream boss. So you put it there and then you use data analytics to enrich, enrich the data. Okay. And uh, on an anomaly detection SQL script, you direct the output of this data analytics application to FireOS system, enable the data transformation feature to flatten the JSON file and set the FireOS destination as open search. You see here, you have Kinesis data stream, you have the sensors here, Kinesis data stream receives the data, it sends it, you have to put it to Amazon Kinesis data analytics. You see here, we are putting it on data analytics, data analytics, data analytics and data analytics, it gains actionable insights from the streaming data. It works on the streaming data. So you don't have to put the data in some data warehouse system or database and then fire queries to analyze, plug Athena. You don't have to do that. You can directly do it through Kinesis data analytics. Then you put it on Kinesis data firehose. What it does, it reliably loads the streaming data into data lakes warehouses. So you have this firehose, you can load it here, S3 and open search. So in our option, we are putting it on open search. You this is open search. That is what we are doing here with open search. You see this is open search. So this is my answer. Now let us look at the next question. So you can pause this video, read this carefully. This is a long question. See, there are different departments. Each department has a different S3 account, uh, sorry, AWS account and S3 buckets. So suppose there are three departments. These three yellow boxes have three accounts, three buckets. And what we have to do, we have a central data lake. This data lake should have access to this, this, this to pull the data and store it in data lake. That is what we want. Okay. Now, what, what we need is, it says there are different data lake access requirements based on roles. Associate analyst should have read access to the departmental data. That means, that means, that means this, what, when we pull the data and put it here, it should have read access. It should not have write access. So, this guy cannot go here, cannot go here and cannot go here and update the data. You should not update, you should not insert, only read. Do what you are responsible for. So it's simple. So if here option C looks okay because what it is telling is they will they will set up an individual AWS account for this guy. This this guy means this blue box. This blue box is the data lake guy, central data lake. It is a central. It needs access from everyone, all data. So you create that account and then you use lake formation. What is lake formation? So in this case, what happens is lake formation is going through the cross account locations. So these are cross account. This one, this one, this one. These are cross account locations. And on each individual S3 bucket, they will modify the bucket policy to grant this permission. So this guy here, this guy, this guy here should get permission to access this, this, and this. The diagram became dirty. Sorry for that. And then you use the lake formation permissions to add fine-grained access controls to allow senior analysts to view specific tables and views. So senior analysts, they will need access to multiple departments of their, but only a subset of columns only. So that is, uh, we can, that is called fine-grained access, subset of columns, fine-grained access. So this would be my final answer. So friends, if you have not yet subscribed, please do. So this brings us to the end of this part, part 16. All real questions, please focus on the concepts. You can click the join button below this video or the description link and become a member. Cloud Kernel, Cloud Ninja, Cloud Kernel, Cloud Ninja.